But today I'm going to be doing a review on a self tanner that I've been trying out recently, which is the Fake Bake Flawless, and this is what it looks like. Um, I got this at Ulta for about $24 or $26, I'm not so sure. I will have the price below. Um, if you can't get this at Ulta, you can also purchase this off Amazon.com or um, they probably have it online somewhere, but Ulta is where I got it from. I'm going to talk all about this. I'm going to tell you what's in it, uh, what it claims to do, um, the application of it, my opinion it for me, um, all that jazz. So, um, the Luxurious Golden Bronze Flawless Self Tan Liquid and Professional Mitt and it is streak free and easy application that's what it says on the front ultimate luxurious self tan liquid applied with professional mitt promotes a flawless golden bronze tan on all skin tones this luxurious liquid uses our unique natural naturally derived tanning formula to create an intense longer lasting tan a cosmetic guide color shows where the tan has been applied Making application easy the light, fast drying, and non sticky liquid works upon contact with skin without clogging pores. It says it is a tropical scent and paraben free. So you can apply this to your face. Everything that's in this box right here. Um, it comes with a mitt, which looks like this. It's like sponge on the back, and then it's like this brown on the front. And you use the brown side to apply the tanner. Comes with the tanner itself, and. Hold on. This is the tanner. Um, it had this cap on, and inside it came with this spray um, thing. So I just put this on with um, gloves, which I was really happy about because I know I needed to use gloves for this, but I didn't feel like going out and buying some. So it did come with a pair of gloves. So I really liked that. So basically what this claims to do is to give you a flawless golden bronze tan, streak-free, easy application, non-sticky liquid, fast drying, blah, blah, blah. As for the application, um, I first used an exfoliant. Um, you really want to exfoliate your skin before you apply any self-tanner. Like, I can't stress that enough. Well, before I used this for the first time, um, I exfoliated my body with this True Blue Spa ex um, exfoliating scrub. It says Invigorating Spa Scrub. Jar. And it's just a scrub. It smells like the ocean, um, I think. And it has natural sea salt in it. This was $24, but I got it on sale because I had like a 20% off coupon. And um, I did like the buy to get one free kind of deal. So, yeah, but that is the exfoliant that I used to exfoliate all over my body. I did not apply this self tanner to is my face just because if you guys know from my past few videos, I've been breaking out so, so much. So I really did not want to apply a self tanner to my, my face. My face is extremely dry because I've been trying to clear up my acne and use some acne treatment creams and stuff. So I did not want to apply a self tanner to my dry face because I know that it would look horrendous um, catching on those dry patches. So that's a no-no. You want to make sure that you exfoliate your skin thoroughly before you apply any self tanner. Um, also, you do not want to apply lotion before using a self tanner because that can really um, ruin like the consistency of the product and make it apply um, not the way it's supposed to, I guess you could say. say so. The application of this is super easy. What I do is I put the um, rubber gloves on. I just put them back in here. I put the rubber gloves on and then I put the mitt on. And a certain section on my body that I want to tan. I usually do my legs first and then my stomach and then my chest and then my arms. But I spray the area and then I go over it with the mitt and I sort of just rub all over. I can definitely tell you that there is no streakiness, there's no blotchiness. It's pretty much given me an even tan all over my body. Um, but I do think you need to use a very thin layer at first. I do put a lot on, but I make sure that I put, you know, an even layer on the section. So if I'm doing my arm, an even layer all through my arm, an even layer on my chest. Do you know what I mean? So you don't want to put too much in one area because then it can look a little bit orange. Um, I have noticed that because it happened to my hands. And you can sort of tell. Um, I don't know how the lighting is going to be. But my hands looks very very orange this morning 
and I just washed my body just because I wanted to wash all the um, excess color off um, but my hands looked very very orange and I think it's because I put too much product on my hands so you want to make sure that you put an even amount on um, I was trying to blend in my hand with my arm and I just put way too much on my hand um, the way I do my hands is I actually spray the liquid on the mitt first and then I use the mitt to you know rub my hands a little bit so that is the application of it. I did feel it was very easy. So yeah, it definitely does what it says. As for the smell, I do think um, it's... When you smell it out of the bottle, it definitely smells very strong. But when you apply it, you can't smell it too much. It's not very harsh at all. Uh, I think after you apply it, you can't smell it. But then a few hours later, probably about three hours later, you can sort of smell that after tan... Um, like after self tanning smell. I say that it's supposed to be a tropical scent. I smell the tropicalness of it. Um, I guess it sort of smells like sweet to like coconut, coconutty. Um, maybe that's what they were going for. I'll tell you that it is not an overpowering self tanning uh, smell. You could probably go out in public and I don't think anyone would really smell you and you know think you just got out of a tanning bed or you just use self tanner you could probably cover it up with some lotion or um, some perfume I would not suggest putting moisturizer right after you use this not at all let it soak into your body um, I usually will um, do this a few hours before I go to bed and then I will go to sleep wake up in the morning and then wash my body um, you know wash all the excess color off and then I'll put a moisturizer on after that to maintain my tan. By the way, um, I am not like a self-tanning expert because I don't use self-tanner that much. Probably like my third self-tanner that I've ever used in my whole life. Um, so I'm not familiar with self-tanners. I don't use many self-tanners. I also don't go tanning as much as you guys think I do because I swear you guys always like comment and you say wow you need to really stop going in the tanning bed or you really need to stop using some self tanner I haven't gone tanning since like October or November um I don't go tanning a lot at I'm all not go tanning on the regular when I do it's usually for an occasion or um, I go you know every once in a while I do love to be tan I'm not gonna lie but I do not promote going in tanning beds I'm not like a person because it's healthy um I know it's not healthy <laughs> I don't want to be going in the tanning bed because I am scared, you know, I don't want cancer and I do think it's unhealthy, but sometimes, you know, I just want to. It gets addicting, I'm not going to lie. So I decided to use a self-tanner because of that. But anyway, that's sort of my background on self-tanners. I do not very use them very often. Um, and this is literally like my third self-tanner that I've ever used. So what works for me and what doesn't work for me might not work for you or might work for you. That makes sense. I don't know how long this will last for because I have only used it about um applied it about three to four times. So I can't really tell you if it has lasted long because I didn't really test that out. I didn't really put it on and see if it lasted like a whole week or anything like that. Um, but I can tell you that it gives you a very nice color. Um, the only thing I can say is if you do apply too much, you can have a little bit of an orange tint. And maybe it's different skin tone Someone uses this self tanner and they are very pale or light complexion. Um, they might turn orange or they might not get that brown, you know, uh, bronzed, natural looking tan. If someone who has a darker skin tone or a darker complexion, um, if they use this, they might get a really nice natural looking tan. It really depends on everyone's skin tone. That's what I think. So for me, I know that certain parts of my body um, have sort of a yellow tint to them and other parts of my body, like my legs, have sort of an olive tint to them. Um, that's just my body. I know in the summer when I tan, uh, the top part of my body usually has like a yellowy tint to it, um, sort of can look like orange tan uh, from natural sunlight, from natural tan. Um, and then my legs and my stomach look like olive, like dark, um, natural tan. But that's just my skin tone. So I have noticed that with this, um, it does give me a little bit of an orange tint. I mean, you can sort of tell I am tan, but it does have, you know, that orange tint, which I really don't like. 
but that might just be my skin tone. I really would like to know everyone's opinion um, because I just started using this and I've only had, you know, about four applications of this. I first applied this, I absolutely loved it. And I do suggest doing little layers at a time like you know do a very thin layer for your first application next application do a very thin layer too much on the first time you will notice that you have you know that really fake looking like um too much orangey tan any sense i don't know i just think that like if you put too much on the first time you will see like an orange i don't know. look so much better than my arms my my legs look so much better than my chest um and I think that's just my skin tone. I think that's just how, you know, my skin is. I have not experienced any blotchiness, any streaks, nothing. It's very even. That's what I love about it because I cannot stand dealing with self-tanners that, you know, get blotchy. And I think a lot of it has to do with this mint just because if you apply it with your hands, you are very likely to get streaks, blotchiness because it's so hard to blend in self-tanner with your hands. I've noticed that. So I think the mitt really, really, really helps. I forgot to mention, because I was looking on the back, um, it's not sticky at all. Um, it's very smooth. Um, I do think it dries relatively fast. I probably would give it about 10 minutes after application to be completely dry, just because I, you know, do all different sections of my body. So I like to give it about five to 10 minutes for it to completely dry. I have not had to use like a, you know, blow dryer or anything to dry my body. I'm gonna keep trying this out. So I will let you guys know, I'll update you. Um, I probably will not do another video on this, but if you guys would um, like to know, you know, how I've thought about it after this video or, you know, if I continue to try it out, um, follow me on Twitter. I will probably put up updates. Just like this morning, I updated people. Uh, I said, my hands look straight up orange today. Not happy. Um, and that was about the self-tanner. So, this my whole review. I hope this was somewhat helpful. If you guys have any other questions, please write below. Um, I'll try to answer. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, I'll put some annotations or anything like that. What I think about this, the pros of this product. Um, great application, very easy to use, um, streak free, fast drying. I mean, everything that they basically said, non-sticky, everything that they said pretty much is uh, true, you know. There is no false advertisement here, I don't think. The thing I can say is that it did give me a bit of an orange tint, but that could just be me applying too much or just my skin tone. I suggest anyone, if you are interested in trying this product, please try it out. Do a video response. Let me know um, how it worked for you. Let me know your experience. Um, I will continue to try this, probably a few more applications. This was just my review of you know, what I think of it so far. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful for you somewhat. And if you want to have updates on me and my life and what I'm doing or whatever, follow me on Twitter, uh, like my Facebook fan page, and also um, check out my vlog channel. I'll have all the links down below for you. Um, I'll also have some information about this, where you can get it, um, the price, what I use, bunch of stuff. So make sure you guys check the description box or the more info box down below. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day.